Hey there, folks. Welcome to the photo video show where we explore all things DSLR. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. And on today's program, we're going to be talking about how to get a good, clean green screenshot in Final Cut Pro 10. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump right in. We've got footage that I took for today's episode. And as you can see, I'm standing on a green screen. Uh, what I'm going to do first, uh, just like I always do, is I'm going to come right on over here to Keen. Do Keir. There we go. All right, now at, uh, you know, at face value, it looks decent. It really does, um, but that is with the black in the background. So let's just go ahead and add um, a, a uh, generator here. I'll just grab a white, perhaps. Throw it right on there, and this will uh, expose the flaw immediately. As you can see in this shirt and in the hat, there's just holes all over the place. That's bad. We don't want any of that except for the big holes in my ears. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from composite view over here to matte view. Now, it doesn't look the, doesn't look so bad right here for some reason. And uh, sometimes you have to switch back and forth so that you can see what you're actually looking to fix. And in this case, it is definitely gonna be in composite view. I'm gonna take and click fill holes and drag it over the right and add just a little bit. Now, that looks pretty good. No major problems that I can see anywhere. The uh, worst thing that I can see though is this edge. It just sort of looks like a cutout. It's not very aesthetically pleasing and it looks pretty amateur. So what I usually do is come on over here to the matte tools and the first thing I wanna do is I want to soften those edges. And you can get a little bit better view of what that looks like in, comp uh, in matte view here. So if you grab the soften slider and just give it a tinge of softness. And now take your road slider and slide it over to the right just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now let's go back over to this view. See, and as you can see, the um, the edges don't look as gross. You know, they, they actually look like maybe they're just falling off in a depth of uh, the, a depth of field thing here. Um, but I will show you what it looks like in composite uh, mode with the soften and the road off. So this is with it on and that is with it off. Just disgusting looking. So we add that back, give it about one or so, about one and a half on that one. And the uh, image looks a lot, lot better. I really like it. It seems to be blending in more so with the background than it normally uh, would if you had just applied the keyer effect only. So if you guys are looking to vary up your shots a little bit, try using the green screen and using Final Cut Pro 10 in conjunction will make it a lot, lot easier. Add that finishing touch by using those matte tools and you will have some beautiful, beautiful green screen shots that you can show all your homies and juggalos and juggalettes and suches and whatnots. So go ahead and get started. So there you have it and there you go. This is the end, dot, dot, dot. But if you will, come and find us on Facebook and Twitter, be our friends and our pals, and also find us on via.me for extra photo video fun. Also check out Macro Mondays, which is the new show that I've been doing every single Monday uh, for Photo projects, photo tips, stuff like that. I think you guys will enjoy it. Check it out. Way down here. So, I'm glad you guys decided to stop by this uh, photo video show, and we'll see you guys again next time. <laughs>